today we're going to talk about stewarding your gift, grace, and ministry. Or you could use the word gifts in plural. Uh, you know, usually many of us have more than one gift. So uh, stewarding our gifts, grace, and ministry. Now, in the context of 1 Peter 4.10, I want to make uh, four statements uh, um, uh, this morning uh, in, 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 in stewarding our gift, grace, and ministry. So number one, the first statement I want, to, want us to understand is this, that all believers have gifts, grace, and ministry available to them. All believers. Each one of us sitting here, each one of you watching online, all believers have gifts, God-given endowments, have grace, God's empowering, and ministry opportunity to serve that God has, has for you. Number two, ministry happens when you use your gifts and grace to serve people. So how can you have ministry? Just use the gifts and the grace that God has in your life to do what? To serve people. That means to attend on people, to help people. Just use the gifts and the grace God has given you to serve people. And then ministry happens. How can I serve in, in these present circumstances? You know, um, I understand that this year, 2020, has been an unusual year for many of all of us. None of us have lived through something like this before in our lives, in our, our lifetime. Uh, and so it's been different. It's been unusual. Uh, but this is not an excuse to not serve. The present situation, the circumstance is not an excuse to become passive or become inactive. In fact, this is the, these are the times where the wisdom of God is demonstrated. You can say an amen to that. These are the times in which we shine with the wisdom of God and say, look, this is how we can do things. Tap into the wisdom of God. God, how do you want me to serve people? How do you want me to exercise the gifts and the grace? God's gift and grace over your life does not withdraw, does not become dormant just because there's a pandemic. You just have to find out by the wisdom of God, how do you want me to exercise these things? Number three, this is the main point of today's message. This verse is telling us to be a good steward of your gifts, grace, and ministry. So gifts, what God has endowed you to do. Grace, what God empowers you to do. And ministry is what happens when you serve people. Now, God is saying, be a good steward of the gift, grace, and ministry. Be a good steward of it. So you've got gifts that what God has put in your life to do. Grace, how he empowers you. And the ministry how you serve people. Now be a good steward of that. So we want to talk a little bit about, you know, being a good steward. And uh, I'm just going to draw these, whatever I'm going to say from these three illustrations that Jesus had. We're not going to read them. I'll just mention them. Uh, Jesus talked about stewardship and he used three different stories or parables to communicate what stewardship in the kingdom of God would look like. So he gave us these three parables. Some of us know these parables. One is a parable of the talents. That's in Matthew 25. Another parable was a wise and faithful steward. That's in Luke 12. And then Jesus used a negative story, the parable of the unjust steward. I want to, you know, uh, draw information from these three illustrations and present these four characteristics of a good steward. Are you with me so far? First one is faithfulness. Second thing about, about uh, being a good steward is excellence. The third characteristic of faithfulness is accountability. And lastly, there is productivity. So a good steward is productive or profitable or fruitful or there is multiplication. So you look out for these things. Last point I want to share now and then we will take some time to pray. Number four, uh, as we see in verse 11, ministry is an expression of God's ability through you and is solely for His glory. Now, this is great consolation to know that it is the ability of God through our lives, not our own ability. 
of course we make the effort we nurture our gift we develop our uh, skills we do all of that but at the end of the day god it is you who's going to do this through me it's your god's ability through our lives amen whatever you do god's ability